Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Behind the Groove podcast. I'm DJ Keo. I am Basil Barrington, and today we saw the fifth episode of Loki, the journey into mystery. And um, wow. Uh, so check this out. Before we get into like the overview, mm-hmm. our rating, everything else, what did you think about the the fifth episode of Loki? I want to see where this is going. (laughs) Mm -hmm. I really want to see where this is going. I think we've stuff that we've talked about off camera. I don't know how much we talked about on camera. Mm -hmm. It's see some of these things seem to be panning out. Um, So it's interesting. I I definitely want to see where this is going. This looks this because they have to stick the landing here. So (laughs) they're the whatever the twist is that that uh, makes this show a reality. This thing has to be great. It was definitely an interesting episode for sure. They brought in some new characters, even gave them names. I don't know if those are like the official names, but you know, they had like President Loki, you know, Classic yeah, they, Loki, they, Kid Loki. <laughs> Kid Loki could be like a serious. DJ, right? Kid Loki. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that could be like a dope DJ name. Yeah, yeah. No, this, those are just regular variants. So I think some of those are from comic books, like mm-hmm. uh, uh, iterations of Loki from comic books. Right. I've seen the President Loki one before, okay. and uh, the older guy, R- Richard E. Kelly, that's the mm-hmm. that's the actor. That's the original design for Loki in the comic books, the really? one Stan Lee did. I think they had an alligator Loki. Oh and yes, all- the alligator Loki. That is uh, this. The, also, this episode had some really good punchlines too. It's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. the writing was good. I, th- I think the yeah. writing on this episode was better than the last one. Yeah, I will say this though. Good. What's up? They need to do something about this color scheme because there's too much purple. Everything is purple in this show. Well, Did you, you notice know, that? Yeah, I heard, like, again, like, you sent me a video uh, once, and the guy in a video was talking about how colors are associated with loom and gloom, you know, mm-hmm. um, time travel, you know, all mm-hmm. of that. And, and um, orange and purple is, like, a really prevalent color. When it comes to yeah. stuff like that, it was mm. pretty cool, man. I mean, the writing was slick. It was pretty dope. You want to go through like a little overview of what went down with uh, Loki episode five, Journey into Mystery? So Loki ends up at the, I guess they're saying this is the end of time, the end of mm-hmm. civilization. Uh, that, that's where you go when you get pruned from the TVA. Mm. So mm-hmm. he ends up there. And it's called The Void. That, the Void, yeah. yeah. This is where he meets the old the older loki distinguished classic loki. five <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh the alligator loki or crocodile and D- lo- it's and the DJ, alligator and dj and, kid and loki. dj loki <laughs> <laughs> dj kid and loki DJ that's loki. a dope yeah. dj name man dj kid loki <laughs> what was the black guy's name with the hammer what was his name he was loki too but he, but, he took thor's hammer okay mm-hmm. that's that's supposed to be thor's hammer so mm-hmm. uh he meets up with them and they're running away from this purple monster, yeah. and they uh, they go to their underground bunker, and it turns out that the black Loki sold them out, and that's where President Loki shows up, and they get into a big fight, and he loses his hand, mm-hmm. and and that's where uh, in the other back of the TVA, uh, Sylvie is talking to Renslayer, and yeah. uh, she's trying to get more answers about what's going on. Turns out Renslayer was stalling until the guards showed up. So she prunes herself, Sylvie right. prunes herself to go and, into uh, the void, yeah. To go into the void mm-hmm. thinking she can they can get there and come back. Right. So <laughs> the I think the it gets interesting, but there's a lot of talking though. Yeah. And I, I I don't know how much plot moving was for it until we see the next show. If there do you think there was a lot of like uh things that are like nuggets that are important to the plot or overall uh, thing for the show back in the in this thing just throughout the whole episode um they left some nuggets um you think so there was one well i thought i rewind this one specific section you know mm. during the episode and i was like well what is that right there right and then i was like i watched it twice back to back and then mm. the second time i was like i paused it and i was like oh wow that's that and okay, you know like, what? Let's do the let's it. do the recap, and then mm-hmm. go. You go right into what you're thinking about that. So, 
Sylvie and Mobius show up in a car, and a they pe- they a, talk a pizza about wagon, <laughs> a pizza wagon, you know, and and they sit devise a plan, right? And uh, <laughs> their plan is they're going to enchant the green, the purple. What is the? Thing. It's called um um Eliatha. Eli- yeah. Eliath or something like that. Eliath, Eliath, yes, Eliath. There you go, Eliath. Exactly. So So, they're going to change this thing. Eliath. Uh, But before that even happened, you know, Loki was there. He hooked up with the other variants. You know, they're all variants. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, and and the other thing is, who knew that when you got pruned, you actually went to this void. You're still alive. You know, the Eliath may eat you or destroy you, but you're still there. You know, you could survive. But Loki hooked up with the other variants, the other Lokis. Yeah, they told them where to go. You know, and, it, uh, it, it kind of reminds me of Lost. Do you remember? Do you remember the show Lost? Oh no, they had the five, yeah. Mm-hmm. They Lost. had like a smoke monster that was out mm-hmm. in the woods. Like this one kind of <laughs> reminds me of. The uh, the so, Li- the Eliath was uh, pretty interesting, but so they like Loki's plan was to just go in and steal, uh, you know, destroy it, you know, stab it yeah, in the heart or whatever, it. you know, just like okay, <laughs> you're gonna know, stab a cloud in the heart. <laughs> yeah, that's a terrible idea, <laughs> right? So I think Sylvie comes up with the idea to idea to enchant it, right? And so uh, DJ Loki, <laughs> young DJ, DJ Loki. Kid Loki. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And uh, the alligator and old Loki decide we're okay. We're gonna we'll help you get over there, and then we're gonna go on our way. And uh, older Loki decides he's gonna help them by constructing all of Asgard, which would look cool. They spent a really lot of money cool. in the special effects. They look really cool, didn't it? Yeah, really cool. He's out there with his hands, just the, <laughs> enchanting with his green hand. So they uh, he enchants it as a distraction and gets killed. And then Loki and Sylvie enchant the the monster, the Eliath. smoke monster, mm-hmm. Eliath, the smoke monster. Right. And it reveals itself to be some kind of castle type thing. Right. And they walk right in into the episode. So okay. With, okay. What were you right. thinking when you rewound that the show to that particular to that spot? One, spe- one particular yeah. spot, right? So um, when Loki linked up with classic Loki, the black guy with a hammer, the other, that Loki, Mm -hmm. DJ kid Loki. Mm -hmm. And they went down into sort of the place where they were all like chilling out. Right. Was that bowling alley? I couldn't tell. I looked, I don't know. But when they were coming down, there was this like thing moving, you know, Mm -hmm. but they showed the Thor hammer. Right. And then there was this thing moving, and I was like, I just thought like, and then a per, and then you just sort of, oh, you know, a person falling, and then when mm. I watched it for the second time, I paused it there. That was Thor. Yeah. So is it like a frog Thor, or is it I the mean, regular Thor? Dude, this was it, Thor with his cape on. A- the the hammer was huge. Thor was like really small, right? Mm-hmm. And you got to check that out. It was just like I could I not gotta, believe I that. Watch it. I was I like, that was when the they're coming downstairs, door. no, this was not a frog, even though you just saw the back, but you yeah, still yeah. was able to see the Thor cape. You saw the mm. huge Thor ham- hammer and like Thor was trying to get to the hammer and he was like going back and forth, trying to like climb up to it and he slipped and he fell. And, you know, that's where you heard the scream. And I was like, I wow, this again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I that this is again. really crazy. So, you know, they're down there trying to devise a plan, you know, classic Loki, yeah. kid Loki. And uh, we're going to call this guy Black Loki, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because they didn't give him a name, really. I mean, he's a Loki, but they didn't give him a name. Right. Um, yeah, yeah. And, you know, they were just laughing because he was thinking, you know, Loki was like, hey, you know, he wants to like kill a, a Eliath and, you know, do everything else. And it really didn't work out. So I don't know. What do you did you see that part? Yeah, I saw that part. I thought it was the frog Loki. I mean, the frog Thor, because mm-hmm. there is a there is a frog Thor in the comic books, and it's like all these shows they got little, little tiny Easter eggs all over the place. That Some was stuff Easter needs egg, things. For real. Yeah, it's one of those mm-hmm. things that he's just propping the back. And yeah, that's what that's what I thought it was. But I got to re- go back and rewatch it again because it could be. I think you could be right, but I, I like I, I yeah, it was really I was rushed trying to get through it in time. So he could do the show. So yeah. I don't know. I may have to watch it again to check it. Before um, Sylvie and Mobius even arrived, you know, 
Loki and the other Lokis, the other variant Lokis, uh, devised a plan to kill um, Eliath or destroy mm-hmm. Eliath. And, um, you know, they needed um, a Nexus event to, you know, happen. So DJ Kid Loki created the uh, Nexus event, you know, just dropping a huge battleship <laughs> yeah. onto the is that void. The, is that the battleship from the Philadelphia Experiment? Or Man- Manhattan Experiment? I think, I don't, I don't know which one. I think it's Philadelphia, um, man. I can't I'm remember. not sure, but, you know, the uh, Eliath basically destroyed it. But he did it so quickly because mm-hmm. Loki wanted to get behind it, you know, and <laughs> it was just a weird plan. He get behind smoke. Like, that's yeah, a terrible right. idea. <laughs> and then, you know, Eliath <laughs> came in, destroyed, like, the battleship, and then Bounce was like, I'm out of here. You can't do anything. And then that's when um, the pizza, you know, t- um, pizza car tree, came yeah. up. but she basically like you said she, she pruned herself and was mm-hmm. you know sent to the void yeah, Elias tried to engulf her you know tried to kill yeah, her she, I think that's she slightly she enchanted, enchanted a minute remember right she like yeah, slightly yeah. enchanted that and she was like oh I saw something there you know wow yeah. so mm. I have two questions for you what's up first question do you think Renslayer is either in on it or the big bad for the whole episode or the show, did I say the series? Do you think that she knows what's going on and she meant with the, she was saying to Sylvie about trying to get to the bottom of what's going on? Mm-hmm. Or is she just the villain the whole time and she's just stalling? I would not be surprised if she was like the villain. Mm-hmm. But she doesn't seem smart enough to be the villain either. Mm-hmm. And she also spoke to Hunter B15 to find out what was going on. She was surprised that, you know, Hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I just want to find out what's going on as well, but we still need to protect the TVA until we find out what's going on. I, I think that she's known the whole time that the robot, there are robots in the room mm. and the whole thing's a shame. I think she's known the whole time. Maybe she knew that, Jess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that she's like innocent or doesn't know what's going on. I think she knows yeah. what's going on. I think she's playing dumb. That's very interesting. You had a second question for me. My question to you is, do you feel kind of weird the way Loki and Sylvie are talking to each other all the time? He's talking to her like he's trying to date her or something. Dude. I'm like, dude, that's yourself. Like, it seems kind of weird. That's what I'll say. It's, well, not, it's not so much a question. It's a statement. It feels kind of weird he's trying to bang himself. Um, <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> she, he is the God of like, uh, mischief and she is the goddess of mischief. Right. So they're are still they, the same person. <laughs> they have different parents though. Right? No, it's the parents. Same they're parents? basically everything through their, for all the Lokis, they pretty much have the same backstory mm-hmm. for the most part. Because and, she spoke you know, they, differently about her parents than he did. Yeah. Because she had only seen her parents as a little kid, whereas he's seen them as an adult. So, you know, I think his his mother died in Thor, Dark World, Dark whatever, the stupid one with the elves, the terrible Thor movie. It definitely seems like he's fallen in love with her, you know. I'm waiting for it the love seems scene. Weird. You know, it seems I'm, weird. That's all I'm gonna I'm, say. I'm waiting for the kiss. I'm like, why don't he just kiss her, dude? <laughs> you know, sometimes you just have to go for it, you know, like just go and kiss her, you know, or you know, you put the blanket on her, you know, and um <laughs> It I seems mean, weird. That's all yeah. I'm gonna say. It seems like you're it's like you're you're kissing yourself in the mirror or something like that. I don't know. It seems yeah. weird. It feels like this should be like a time <laughs> paradox uh, no-no mm-hmm. <laughs> to make out with yourself. <laughs> seems like a, something that we should kind of avoid. That's like beyond incest if you're making out with yourself. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> I yeah. would say like go all in, get it over with, <laughs> break the ice, <laughs> and, you know, do the justice and like, bing, go save the world, you know, go beat up the TVA, you know, but get it out the way. They can't have a love scene in this uh, flick, though. They can't have a that love scene. Is a, Maybe a, a kiss. Can do that. It would not surprise me if like when it was all said and done, he kissed her on the cheek. OK, that that would make sense. But it'd be better if they did a, a, like a bro fist or something. But or a they, hug. The way How about a hug? Their dialogue reminds me of like. A high school dance. Yeah. Like that's the uh, like, coming kind of, of like, age movie, you know? Yeah. Like mm-hmm. a breakfast club or something. Like it's just awkward. Just everything about it was awkward. I don't know. They're Let thousands me, of years old. This seems weird. Let me ask you a question. 
How did you think episode five sort of flowed from start to end? Do you think that the storyline, the plot lines, everything sort of fell into place from start to end? It gives you a good a cliffhanger to get you to episode six, for sure. I de- I want to see how this ends and what they're going to do, for sure, hundred yeah. percent. I I'm I'm all in. I want to see what happens here. But again, they have to stick the landing. There needs to be a good explanation for everything. And oh, I, I have a good question for you, okay? What's up? Do you think Tom Hiddleston's Loki is going to survive this thing? Or is the, so, uh, is the new female Loki going to be the new Loki for the MCU going forward? You know, I really like Sylvie, man. You know, I think she's, um, I think she's, she's got, uh, she's bad. You know, she's sort of dope. And I like Loki too. Um, you know, thus far, I'm really feeling like this Loki series, right? Even though it's like just season one, I'm not quite sure if they're going to have a season two. Yeah, I don't think they're going to have a season two. But <laughs> I, I really so. like this. You know, this is this is really cool. And I really, I wasn't feeling like the Loki Sylvie in the beginning. Mm. And now that the both of them linked up and they're trying to do something together, I like the both of them. I mean, I hope that they, well, they're not going to die because they just, they always come back. They survive, right? Do you think like Kittleston will hang up the, the Loki horns and uh, Sylvie's going to take over for the movies? I hope not. Because I actually okay. like him as, uh, you know, just the King Loki. I think he's pretty cool. Um, I'll say this. Mm-hmm. If he's replaced with who? By, with Sylvie, if, he's, if he hangs up his horns and is replaced by Sylvie, there's going to be a lot of angry female fans. See? The wrath you haven't mm-hmm. heard of before. On that's a level where, unforeseen. That's where movie production houses and just production companies that's when they start screwing up things i know you have to work out money and contracts and all that other stuff Mm -hmm. right but this loki is and again i'm not you know this is first time loki for me right but i like this guy who's playing loki um if you've seen the movies mm -hmm. he's a fan favorite (laughs) especially from the ladies He's yeah. a fan favorite. I can see that. You know, he's good looking. And he's slim. He's in shape. Yeah, I like you. this guy playing Loki. I mean, I would be super disappointed if the wrath from the fans Loki, is if be this guy unforeseen. didn't stay Loki, and if Sylvie wasn't a part of it, they both need to be a part of it. Even if it's adversarial, they still need to be a part of it. Yeah, I think people would be cool with that. But if he mm-hmm. leaves for her, I you can't. The, I can't put the wrath in words of what's going to happen here. Yeah. It is going to be bad. It's not going to go well. I like this guy playing Loki. I like Sylvie playing Loki. Mm-hmm. They need to bring both of them back. Definitely Loki the guy. And um, yeah. if they can, you know, if contracts and money yeah, <laughs> works out, you know, bring back Sylvie as well. I like Sylvie. It's something about her that I like. You know, it's just it's, it's something it's, about her. I like her. Okay, so Loki episode five, journey into mystery. Give me your thoughts and your rating. Uh, overall, I think it was interesting. Uh, I, I wasn't disappointed watching it. Um, I will say this though, I, uh, my rating is going to be a seven. Mm-hmm. I, I guess same as last week, mm-hmm. but my seven is contingent on episode six. Mm-hmm. It'll either turn from a seven down to a four if episode six is terrible or I don't like the ending of episode six. Okay. So I would say this this contingent on this thing here. Mm -hmm. So if it's a quality ending, then it could go up to an eight or a nine. But right now it's a seven. I am going to give Loki five, episode five, Journey into Mystery, an 8.5 now remember last week i gave it an eight and Mm. the previous three episodes one two and three i gave a seven Mm. so i'm giving this an 8.5 you're going up to a nine next week i listen uh, this is (laughs) this is something if they had 13 episodes i'd be all in obviously you know there are going to be some episodes that's just going to be garbage right Um, it's gonna be a lot of fillers right you know but 
I am all in with this. Episode five to me was a really good episode. I like, Mm -hmm. you know, they spent most of their time um, in the void and the graphics were amazing. The storyline, the special effects were bananas, right? I mean, the way, you know, classic Loki uh, Loki just brought up that city was pretty Mm -hmm. cool. And the whole battleship thing, you know, with... um, it, that was just everything was pretty sick for me it was um and i wouldn't even call it slow i would just call it like you said building up leaving breadcrumbs for the last mm. and final um episode episode six well there you have it another episode of the behind the groove podcast i am basil barrington i'm dj keel and uh thank you for watching thanks for watching thanks for listening and until next time peace all right